pricing and managerial accounting. We're looking at the cost-based method known as the gross margin method. And you will notice that when we figure the price using the gross margin method, we are only using costs that show up on the income statement. Thus, it's sometimes called the income statement approach. Now, we're going to use exercise 6 as an example. And exercise 6 says that we are trying to figure out how much it costs to inspect a cow. And you'll recall there were things called mad cow disease and hoof and mouth disease and um, whenever you travel internationally they always ask you if you've been in a barnyard lately well the reason is is these are communicable diseases between animals and people and they want to make sure they don't get transmitted so every year you have to inspect the cows so we need to figure out how much does it cost to inspect a cow now, under the gross margin method, we first find the markup percentage. And the markup percentage is the desired profit that I want, plus the selling administrative and general costs that I have to cover to inspect the cow, over the production costs. And that will give you the percentage. So that when you use, figure out the gross margin price, you take the production cost per unit. In other words, what were the traceable costs of looking at the cow? plus the markup percentage times the production cost per unit. And that's the formula that is most commonly used for the gross margin pricing method. But there's an easier way. You want to know what it is? It's you just take your desired profit plus your production cost plus your selling administrative and general cost and divide it by the number of units. And you know what? It will give you the same price. So let's look at exercise 6 and look at some of the information. And we'll first do the markup percentage and we'll find the gross margin price that way and then we'll do it the simple way as well. So in this problem it says that we have direct service labor, in other words the cost of looking at the cow, of $525,000. We also have variable service overhead of $250,000, and again looking at the cow. And we have fixed service overhead of 225000 So if I add those three numbers together, all the costs of looking at a cow, it comes to a total of a million dollars. So how much does it cost me to go into this business and look at cows every year? A million dollars is our best estimate. And so when we find our market percentage, that goes on the bottom, or the denominator. The numerator is the desired profit, and in this particular problem, it says the minimum desired profit is $120,000. So we want to make at least $120,000 a year for looking at cows. Then we also need to add in my selling administrative in general. Now looking at the problem, it says our selling expenses are $142,500. And our general and administrative are 157500 And you know what? If I add those two together, it comes to 300000 So 300000 in selling administrative and general expenses. So desired profit plus SAG over production costs means that my markup percentage is 42%. So when I find the gross margin approach, I'm going to take my production cost per unit. Well, you'll remember that production costs for the year are a million dollars, and that we've got 250,000 cows that I'm going to look at each year, plus the markup percentage, 42%, times, again, the production cost per unit which is the million dollars divided by the cows you will inspect, which is 250000 So, let's see, that's $4 plus 42% of $4 says the price that we should charge to inspect a head of cattle or a cow is $5.68. Now, what's the alternative? Well, the easier way would be to take the desired profit, which we know is $120,000, plus the selling administrative and general cost of $300,000, plus the production cost of a million, 
divide by the number of cows you're going to inspect each year. And notice that this will also give you the gross margin price of $5.68 per cow.